Hello everybody, welcome to this class. In this class, we are going to discuss about the defect of vision and their corrections. Sometimes the vision becomes very blurred due to the refractive defect of eye. In such conditions, the person cannot see the object distinctly and comfortably. These defects of eye vision can be classified into three main categories. The first one is myopia and otherwise call it as nearsightedness. The second one is hypermetropia. It is otherwise called as farsightedness. And the third one is presbyopia. That person affected both myopia and hypermetropia. So in power of accommodation, we discussed about the least distance of eye vision, right? The least distance of distinct vision for a normal human eye is about 25 centimeter. The 25 centimeter is the nearer point and the far point is known as infinity up to which distance can be seen clearly. So this is a normal eye vision. So the object is there in the nearby point. So the light rays are passing through the lens and it is falling on the retina. So in this case, the nearby object can be seen clearly. See the next picture. In this picture, the light rays are coming from the infinity from the far point. So after entering into the lens, it is converging before the retina that is in front of the retina. So the blurred image will be formed on the retina. This defect may arise due to these two reasons. The first one is excessive curvature of the eye lens and the second one is elongation of the eyeball. In order to correct this uh, defect, we need concave lens with a suitable power. See the second one, the normal eye is given and the hyperopia, it is otherwise known as hypermetropia, the farsightedness. Here the nearby object cannot be focused on the retina, it is focusing beyond the retina. So the image will be blurred. So in this defect, the person cannot see the uh, nearby object clearly. They can see the distinct object clearly. This defect arises due to the focal length of the eye lens is too long the second one, the eyeball has become too small. The convex lens with the appropriate power is used to correct this defect. We can identify the difference between the myopia and the hypermetropia with this picture. Concave lens is used to rectify the defect of a myopic eye and the convex lens is used to rectify the defect of a hypermetropia I. This is the third one, the press pyopia is due to the power of accommodation decreases with the aging. Because of the gradual weakening of the ciliary muscles and the diminishing flexibility of the eye lenses. In such conditions, the person cannot see nearby object distinctly and the far away object also. This can be corrected by bifocal lens, both concave and convex that will be there in the same spectacle.